Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to update an image. So in previous video, we have seen how to edit that. Before getting started with this video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it and do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So if you have not yet watched the previous video, do watch it so that you will understand what is happening in this video. We discussed about edit, how to edit in PHP. So in this video, we'll be working on the updation part. So in edit, we have seen that we fetch the data and here when we click on this edit image button, we are getting all these. So here the ID I have just, I have to hide it. So here what I'll do is, I'm not going to show this ID. I will just make this as hidden and now go and reload. Now ID gets disappeared. So let us remove this label as well. That is not required actually. With the help of this ID only, we can update this data. Let's copy this update image and go to code.php with the post method. And this ENC type is must if you are working with file. Uh, the file will not be stored if you are not giving this ENC type. So make sure you give this ENC type. And let's go to code.php. So here we have worked with insertion. And here we will be working with updation so we are going to check with if is set of dollar post of the button when this update button is clicked we'll just echo first and tell hello let's go and reload this reload update so we are getting hello so here this is a sample thing but we have to update according to the necessary data and the image so here we have a few conditions to be checked like if the image is already existing we have worked with that as well i have made a separate video on that we will be working in this video as well so that is one of the condition and the other condition is once this image is updated, uh, the previous image has to be deleted. All those things will be working. So I'll be explaining each of the conditions when we are working. So here when we click on that button, we are getting hello. So now let's remove this. So when we click, we need all this name, phone number, email and the image, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to tell here create a variable name is equal to dollar post of name so this dollar post of name is coming from a edit page which is this name phone all those things don't get confused with that let's copy paste paste and rename this to phone and what we have is email again give email and here we have image if you see image is in file format, which is that when we are uploading a new image, we will be giving file. But the image which is already exist, we have just given it in an input tag, which is type of hidden. So we have made it hidden because that should not be displayed on the web page. But internally, we will be using that input tag. So this will be our old image. And if user wants to insert a new image, we will be using this. So here we will give image let us give old image and here dollar post of image dollar post of let us go to edit.php and here we have the name let us copy this image old and paste it here so this becomes our old image now let us give for new image new image is equal to so new images of file type. So we have to give files of image and the proper name of that name. Now we have done with this. Here we have to check if the image 
if user is entering an image then update it to new image else let it be the old image itself so that is one of the condition so here if dollar new image if a particular user is inserting one image then update it to new image else keep that old image itself so this using this new image we are checking you can take this variable or else you can take this value both works not equal to null if new image is not equal to null then we will create a variable update file name is equal to dollar new image else if the image is null copy the same variable name and tell old image so this is our first condition we are just checking if that image is not null we are just going to insert a new image if that is null then let it display the old image itself so this is our first condition after this we have another condition which is to check that if the file is existing or not so when we are inserting itself we have checked that file exist so i am going to copy this file exist and paste it here while checking itself so what this does is if particular user is inserting a new image then it is going to check if that image name is same as the previous image then if that image name is same as the previous image it will give output telling image already exist and it will direct back to index.php so this is one condition this is one condition and inside we have another if condition checking the file exist so here we are checking file exist using this function and this is a folder name and we have concatenate with with the file name again here we are just displaying the message with the file name and directing back to the index page i have explained this properly in that insert video so instead of typing it again and again i just thought to copy paste it so if you have not understood this properly do watch the first video so you will get to know what this file exist does here we have finished checking the if condition let us go and check once so let me reload so here i am going to choose the same file i have one image i am going to copy this open and i'm going to click on update image so here you can see when i take that it is telling hey user 2 image already exists so this is a first condition which we have achieved let's move on to the updation so here after else let us create a variable for updation so update image query is equal to update students table set name is equal to dollar name comma phone is equal to dollar phone comma email is equal to dollar email and the last one we have is image is equal to for image we will not be taking this old or new so this we will be taking the update file name because here itself we have checked the condition and we have created one variable so whether if it is the new image or the old image we will be using this variable name so for the updation of image we will be using this variable name copy paste it here now updation also if you see go back it is for the particular user so we need id right so you have to give a where condition here where id is equal to dollar user id i am not just confusing id id everywhere so it might confuse but here i have given the variable name as user id hope so it will not confuse and give a semicolon so this is our 
update query but before that we have a user id here let's copy this user id and paste it here is equal to dollar post of id so now from where is this post of id coming so if you see in edit table we have one input tag which we are not showing here but then we are internally using that id to update to fetch all those data so this id will be copy and pasting it here after this we have update query run so give update image query run is equal to using my sqli query connect your database as well as pass this variable name update query give a semicolon so once after this done we just have to check if that is updated successfully or not so use if condition here if this query is running successfully then we are using session so tell dollar session of status is equal to image updated successfully and direct this back to header location so if it is updated from here if it is updated let it go to home.php so give here home.php semicolon then in else part just copy paste the same thing and give a different message and change the header to different location so here image image updation failed okay and let it be in edit.php so one more thing which you have to notice when you are using session make sure you start the session so here in code.php it is already started and uh, the connection i have already given here so i am not connecting it again and again just using the same connection so once this image is updated successfully that image has to be stored right so what we'll do is after this if condition so after this is success we are going to tell dollar copy that file name not equal to null then move the file here for insert also we have done the same thing i'm just going to copy that move file and paste it here so this move file function it will move that particular file to the particular location we are directing to here this file this is a file name we are just moving it to the uploads folder concatenating with the file name this is how the move file works once after moving the file the previous file should not be there for example here i am updating this to another file once i have updated i don't require this file so this file it is not a good habit of storing it inside the uploads folder because we are not going to use that file further so what we'll do is we can just delete that file use unlink function and give your folder name unlink so uploads is my folder uploads give a slash and concatenate this with old image so what it will do is once new image is updated it will move to uploads folder and it will delete the old image which is there in uploads folder that's it we have done with the coding part let us go and test now before testing we have started the session but here we have given home.php and edit.php let us go to home.php here make sure you start the session in home.php and what i have done is i have just if you go to index you will have this session message i have just cut this and pasted it in home.php after this column if you want to do that even in edit you can do that here it is already set in edit.php so no worries and here just include the session here as well so that
we have set with everything let us go and check if the code is working according to our condition so before that let me go download few images we name this as user 3 saved let us go and open our table so here we have for the first user 2.jpg and for the second we have user 2.png let us go reload and update this to sneha r and update the phone number to 54 sneha r at gmail.com and here if you see i'm gonna take this image which is user 3 open and you can see the choose file is user 3 but the existing file is user 2 so let me click on update image button you can see hey image updated successfully and we have got the updated image and all the datas are updated fine let us go check our uploads folder if that previous image is deleted so here uploads folder you can see user 2.jpg got deleted and user 3.jpg got inserted so, which means that this condition has worked successfully and uh, everything is fine and we have updated everything let us go reload our database and here also you can see updation is successful and now let us check again with this condition file exists i'm gonna edit image again click on choose file choose the same image and click on open and when i click on update you can see that it is giving us a message a image updated successfully so this file exist is not working properly now so what we'll do is we'll just cut this file exist from here and we'll paste it here align this gif format document and here for this if we'll have a else else and inside this else we'll paste this update query so just paste this give control a and format document and now this has to work as expected so let us go and test our code so first i'm going to test with this image first let us change the image so here i'm going to choose this image again and open and give update image you can see hey image updated successfully now let us test with file exist condition click on edit image and click the same file open and here you go hey user to jpg image already exists so now both the condition is working fine so that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching